to walk in and really be shocked is a real treat because it rarely happens. Just on the materials and the process, the view clearly is spectacular. It's definitely a party space, no doubt about it. <laughs> okay. Martha's Vineyard is an island renowned for its natural beauty, and Herring Creek Farm is no exception. Prolific architect Patrick Ahern takes me inside one of the four homes that he has designed on this working farm. I kind of view architecture more as an art form than a science. I'm a romantic, and I tend to think of my houses as an extension of who I am to a degree. At the same time, I try to create spaces that really work with the test of time and that are really just romantic, comfortable spaces. This is the, the actual working farm here. They have uh, cows, they have horses, they have donkeys. They I have thought I saw an alpaca. There is this <laughs> miniature horses that are kind of cute. So it's a real working farm that eggs and milk and everything yep. goes into town from here. Yep. That's great. I'm going to do wildflowers. You come across this field and you see this wonderful cottage, if you will, because you really can't tell the scale because the field is so large that has weathered over time wonderfully and uh, there's a sense of anticipation and excitement coming to the house because it feels special and it feels romantic and you're not really sure of the scale of the house and what you're about to experience and as you get closer and closer it still maintains that that sense of intimacy because it is 26 feet tall it is lower in scale and based on this eight shape you never really experience the whole house you only see half the square footage it really reads very much as a Hansel and Gretel-like cottage, so it's really fun that way. Well, first tell me how the uh, family that owns the home, how did they originally find you? The yellow page? No. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> what we were trying to do is, and we talked early on with, with the family and, and the clients about, well, you know, we don't really want to do a great room. We don't really want to have a family room that's part of the open kitchen. We wanted spaces to feel more intimate within themselves, and there was a collection of spaces that are linked by some logical hierarchy of circulation patterns that open themselves out to the outdoors. But they are spaces within themselves that you could be very comfortable in. My approach to uh, working on a new project really starts with the script. Not unlike a novel or a, uh, or a movie that you would create. And I try to create a script that uh, is applicable to each house. Let's pretend this was a 1895 country house, mm -hmm. beach house, that uh, was built in that period of time, shingle style cottage. And the hurricane in 1938, which did come to the island, mm -hmm. that wreaked disaster came through the house, kind of destroyed the most of it, and then my client came across and bought it, and then we lovingly restored the house. Right. So that's the storyline. I tend to stick with it, <laughs> although it's all new construction. And you do those storylines for all of the homes that you design. I do. I do. So it's I like have a lot a, of extra work. Eh, but it kind, of, it kind of gets everyone thinking right. about, well, what the hardware should be, what sure. the mantle might have been if it was that period of time. Right. And it certainly helps everyone understand where you're trying to go, both on the exterior architecture right. and on the interior right. architecture. The as historic well. aesthetic. And I think it grounds the house. So there's a mm -hmm. sense of implied history in the house day one. 
Right. Um, and as this house has weathered over the last few years, um, I think it really speaks to that language. But yet there are some tricks to the house that really change how it lives and it opens itself out to the water mm -hmm. view. The dueling wings and looking mm -hmm. through your house to see another piece of your house and particularly at night when the fire is in the fireplace. Right. And it's a romantic way of living and it's kind of charming. This is the formal side of the house. The informal side of the house is over here. And this is the spine that brings you through. So you don't traverse through a living space per se. Uh, this is like a little boutique hotel. Mm -hmm. If Four Seasons ever came to Martha's Vineyard to do a boutique hotel, this could be it. There's always a, this idea of portal that you, you go through a space to arrive to another space mm -hmm. and then perhaps another space beyond that. It's the idea that there's a lot of intimate spaces mm -hmm. that are linked together as opposed to a big, great room well, or I'm a big, grand room. so used to the modern language now is so much about a great room and an open kitchen, and um, so this is, this is kind of a traditional throwback. It's a real mix of obviously very elegant, but also very homey and very comfortable. And I think that was the goal of the house consistently, that this is a home, this is not a, not a mansion, this is not to make a statement, right. it's really meant to be a family home. It's not too precious. Uh, very understated, everybody's comfortable, and, and everybody can have their own spaces and not be on top mm -hmm. of each other when they don't want to, so they have great communal spaces, right. and I think it's really successful. And such a beautiful view, oh my god.